So I found something interesting. Basically, I found out exactly why Dipon Loop works the way that it does, and I came across this by trying to figure out universal overhead setups. Um, and basically, what happens is that you are canceling the recovery animation of your normal in order to walk forward or backwards. Um, I believe it's like one to three frames early. I would have to like 100% check what it is. But um, it's very interesting because if I do one, two, three, and I hit Fierce Punch, as you can see my feet, the back of my heel is at the edge of the can. I'll move forward and you can see the can between my legs. So if I do the same thing and I hit back, the edge of my heel is a little bit further back. If I hit forward, as you can see, my heel is nowhere near the back of the can. It's toward the front of the can. So you can let your animation rock and get different spacing. Right? So if you let your animation rock, then you end up with your, your feet at the back, right? So if you take one step back, you can get Kara Universal Overhead, right? But if you cancel it early, you can actually get walk forward one step into Universal Overhead. So it's really confusing because, and this does work, I guarantee it, but... Um, there we go. It's weird because you have to cancel the animation of the Fierce Punch with either back or forward to get either of these setups to work. Um, because if you just use the end, at the end of the animation where it stands, your Carry Universal Overhead doesn't connect. So like... If you do it towards the end of the animation and you hit forward you end up in a different position right so the later you try to walk the different position you get the different the position that you get off of the uh, fierce so when I walked there it put me you know exactly with the cam between my legs basically in the if you were to one two three almost in the exact same position. Like, just off of a crouching medium punch, it puts you in the exact same position as you would if you were to do fierce punch and then walk forward a step. Like, cancel the animation. Exact same spacing. So, you can do the exact same thing with crouching medium punch as well. So, as you can see, what I hit forward to cancel the animation of my the recovery of my crouching medium punch um, and the can is further forward between my legs so as you can you, you can't really see him walk in that last one that I did but it's different positioning. Half the can is under my knee, as opposed to um, you still being able to see the white part on the left side if I don't press forward. So, um, this works off of all of Yun's normals in Ganajin. So, uh, Close stand fierce pushes you back so that you are your left leg covers the can. So if you're right on top of them and you press it, you cover the can, right? And if you hold forward during the animation, you can cancel the recovery and be closer to your opponent. 
So this means that depending on what moves you're doing and how long the recovery is, you can change the positioning of your character um, in regards to your opponent to allow you to get better universal overhead setups or to get better spacing for your um, Zembo tension. So this also does work on hit, right? So it's the same exact principle. So, oops, time over. But, um, so yeah, that's something that I found out on accident. And it's probably something that a lot of high level Yuns already know. But uh, I asked like six or seven Yun mains and they had no idea. So unless you're like the top of the top, either it just didn't click or it's just something that is overlooked or I'm not sure, but it's something that you can mess with um, timing wise. And uh, hopefully this is informative.